Hi, Christy here with Make Every Day Colorful. Today I am here to show you how to clean your waffle iron. So I have a double Belgian waffle iron and it gets really dirty. It's very hard to clean to me because you cannot take the plates off and put them in the sink to clean them. Um, so we don't use it. We usually don't even use it for waffles. I usually use mine to make like grilled cheese sandwiches or um, ham and cheese grilled sandwiches. We even put like pepperonis, um, cheese and pizza sauce on breads and slap them on there. So the other day I made several of them so my arm got really dirty and I actually already kind of cleaned one side. So let me show you the side that I hadn't cleaned yet. Okay, so you see all that stuff in there and it's all at the top too. So I have a really hard time getting all this out and I've tried different methods that I've seen. I've looked online. Now some people use, um, they'll just get a spatula or whatever and they'll try and get between each groove. Well, that takes forever and then you're like flicking it all over the counter and so it's like making crumbs everywhere. Uh, another thing I've seen, people either wet a, wet a napkin or a um, towel or a dish rag and they'll put it on there like I guess to kind of let it steam. They'll close it and let it sit like a minute or two and then open it. But still the same concept. You're like scraping in there to try and get all the little crumbs out and it's so, so messy. So one day I uh, did my whole rag thing trying to get all the crumbs out because I was about to cook waffles. And then I noticed um, once I put the waffles, because I hadn't got like every little thing out. It's like all the crumbs, like if there was anything left, it like just lifted up with the waffle. It's like, what? So basically just make a batter and pour it in there. Let it sit like you would be cooking a waffle. And then when you open it up, just pop it off and all the crumbs and everything comes with it which is awesome because the reason I get so many crumbs on here is because cheese and all the grease and, or whatever is in the sandwich leaks out. And that's what makes all the stuff, you know, stay stuck on there, especially because it's still hot when you, when you turn it off, you know, and so all that stuff is just stuck on there cooking. So anyway, I'm going to show you what I did. So I got uh, a cup of flour right here and I'm going to put a cup of water. This is half a cup. I need to pour another half cup in my measuring cup got that in there so pouring it all okay then i'm just gonna whisk it all together just get it nice and battery and this is just something quick and simple to do um you know instead of obviously you're not gonna make a waffle batter just to clean it so this is the quickest way i found to do it, is just mix flour and water together and seems to work pretty good so all right so as you can see it's like a batter now Ooh. oh my gosh y'all I just spilled some on my counter okay so now I have mess number two to clean so anyway so now I'm just gonna pour it in there as if I was gonna be cooking a waffle just pour it in there I'm gonna spread it everywhere get in all those crevices I want to make sure I put enough that I can um get the top plate uh, covered as well. So I'm pouring most of this. So you might, you know, actually have to do like a double batch if you need to clean both sides, if you've used both sides. So get all this in there, just try and use it all up. Okay, so now I've got it nice and thick in there. Let's close it like I would normally be co cooking a waffle, flip it, and I have it set at, I'm putting it at three minutes because I want to make sure it's done. So I'll be back in three minutes to show you how it um, turned out. So just hang tight. Minutes that I had this um, batter on the waffle iron. So yeah, this is the side I did. So as you can see, it's pretty cooked. So now I'm just gonna, because it's so hot, be careful to lift it up. Ooh. So I'm gonna flip it over on this plate and look at all the junk. That came off of my iron, y'all. Isn't that so cool? Such a neat little trick. It's so much easier than spending 10 minutes scrubbing an iron. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's like a thousand percent perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So let me just show you. You're gonna have so little bit to take off. So I'm sure you can see, I got most of that stuff that was on there off, just came off. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I clean the 
that's how I clean my waffle iron. It's so much easier, so much easier than sitting there and scrubbing. So I hope this helps you. Um, I hope you try this trick with your waffle iron. You see that you're going to save yourself so much headache by doing this. And you can get all this nasty, nasty, nasty stuff off of there without scrubbing and being aggravated trying to clean it. Well, thank you for watching. If you don't mind subscribing to my channel, if you like all my videos, I'm gonna keep putting new videos out there. So subscribe to Make Every Day Colorful, where I share um, tips and tricks and things I do with my kids and uh, just my everyday life. Thank you.